Hi and welcome back to my channel. I am back with another thrift haul. I went on a major thrift expedition with my friend Amanda yesterday. I found some really, really cool, awesome stuff that I'm so excited about. So we went to three of my favorite thrift stores in Ohio. One is the Goodwill Headquarters. The other two are the two stores. They're called Village Discount Outlet. Now, if you don't know what these are, I'll try to link down below. We'll go take all the cute stuff there or I'll be pissed. Anyways, so yeah, it was really fun. We had a great time and we found some awesome stuff. So let's get into it. So the first thing I have to show you is this flannel right here. I don't typically wear flannels, but for some reason this just really caught my eye. Kind of like a classic print. It's really soft and comfortable. Brand is olive and oak and it is a large. So it gives me kind of like a nice oversized comfy fit and I've never been a flannel girl but I think I'm gonna try it out let me know if you think I'm pulling it off or not $3.59 for this and I found this at Goodwill this I was super excited about I found this at one of the village discount outlets it is a cropped mustard color sweater and it has like this distressing on the knit this is really cute I don't know exactly what I'm gonna wear this with. I'll kind of have to figure that out. This was $10 and is, I don't know this brand, J USA. And it feels just really soft and comfortable. I didn't look at the fiber content yet. Let me see. Looks like it's actually 55% cotton and 45% acrylic. So that's kind of like a nice blend. I don't tend to love to go for 100% acrylic sweaters because they tend to pill a lot. So the fact that this has this cotton in is gonna make it probably last longer and give me better life out of it. But I thought that was cute. Next thing I found was this really pretty burnout velvet scarf. I love this color and print on here. I got this at one of the village discount stores and it was $5. I'm not really a huge fan of the tassels on it. They look kind of like <laughs> really matty. I don't know. So I think I'm gonna try to cut those off and then just re-hem it so that it's just like straight across on the hem. I thought this was really pretty and it looks like this looks expensive to me. I had to grab that as soon as I saw it. I love, love, love velvets and anything like that. We have another Goodwill find. This was $5.59 and I did have a 20% coupon for all this stuff, so I did get a discount after that. This is a long maxi dress, like a 90s kind of style with roses. I don't plan to keep this as is. I actually want to try and turn this into like a crop top and a skirt matching set. So if you want me to show you a video on when I do that, let me know because I think that might be something fun to film and show you how I do that and how it turns out. No, it just kind of called out to me and I grabbed it because I had that idea for what to make out of it. So this is one of the things that I was most excited about. As soon as I saw this, I knew it was coming home with me. Cropped green, so soft sweater, cute buttons. This was actually marked $20, but the green tags that day were half off. So one cool thing about Village um, Discount is they usually have a color tag that's marked half off, and then some days they even have dollar tag day. And on this is called AE Studio, and it's a size medium. And I think this is just gonna look so cute with like dresses, just as like a little cardigan to layer. And it's so soft. I'm assuming it's a synthetic fiber. It is from American Eagle and it's 100% nylon, which isn't the greatest, but you know. It's an extra button in it. I think this is brand new. Plus the original tag on it. I thought this was so soft. I just love to rub it. It's so comfy. Next we have another Goodwill find. This is a long, sweater skirt. I'm really not gonna wear this. I got this for the material. It's a size large and the brand is called Chance Encounters. It looks kind of older. It's 70% lamb's wool and 20% angora rabbit hair, 10% nylon. So that was the main reason I bought it because it is a really, really good fiber content. This color was like 
luxurious. Because I'm not doing uh, my brand Lovers and Trees anymore doesn't mean that I'm not going to be upcycling sweaters. I'm still going to be upcycling sweaters and I absolutely just fell in love with this color and everything about it. Let's see, how much was this? Yeah, this was $3.59 with a 20% discount. Take a break from clothes for a second and let me show you some of the other goodies I got. I to get something for my little baby flower. I got her this little purple bunny. It was only 90 cents at the village discount outlet and she's already played with it a lot. Reminded me of like a little Easter bunny since Easter's coming up. Always gotta treat my little baby. This, oh my gosh, how cute. It's a jar. It's still kind of dirty. I haven't washed it yet, so sorry about that. This was $1.50 at the Goodwill. I love every anything with like mushrooms on it. Really cute, something to store things in the kitchen. Another Goodwill find, I got this really nice Pyrex mixing bowl. It was $4. I don't have a lot of bowls in my house and I only have like one nice Bowl, which is actually a vintage Pyrex too. So I just grabbed this because I thought it was pretty, pretty standard clear mixing bowl. Gotta have it if you wanna bake and do stuff in the kitchen. So that was cool. Moving on to some more clothes. I've got a few more really cool things to show you. Got these pants, mean kind of cargo pant with an elastic bottom. These were cool and I heard Skinny jeans are out, I don't know if you heard, so I need to get with the program and get some different type of pants. So I thought these looked kind of cute and they fit me pretty good. They were maybe a little baggier, but um, they were really comfortable. The only thing is, is that this belt loop is ripped right here, so I am gonna have to fix that, but I think it's something that I could just hand sew kind of back into place and hide it. It's one really good thing about being able to sew is I can still buy things that are ripped and um, fix them. Brand on these is Chisono, which is Italian. I do know that and they are a size medium. I'm excited to try to see what I can pair and make an outfit with these. Okay, next we have this beautiful dress giving me straight up mother of <laughs> mother of the bride vibes buy this for me to wear okay i got this because of this gorgeous stretch velvet fabric you know me you know i love stretch velvets i love to sew them and make things out of them so that is what i will be using this for you can see there is a huge panel down here and I am kind of thinking I might try to make myself some really cool bell bottoms with it if I have enough fabric. If not, I'm sure I'll find something to use it for, but this color just really spoke to me like this beautiful midnight blue velvet. $5.59 and is called Jessica Howard and it is a size 12. Next up I have this pink sweater. Really pretty color. I found this at the Village Thrift. It was $10 or marked $10 but it was half off because it was a green tag. The brand is Banana Republic Bougie and it is a size small. So I originally got this because of the fabric. I thought it was a really pretty color. 65% merino wool and 23% rabbit hair. So really good quality fiber. I was originally thinking I might cut this up for the fabric, but I think I'm gonna try it on and see if it looks cute on me. And then I might just wear it and maybe like add a patch or something to it to make it really cute. I used to like pink, but the last couple years I've been into pink and I don't know what happened but I'm just gonna go with it. I think pink's a pretty color. It's like the color of love. This is so soft and I love wearing natural fiber sweaters because they're just so much warmer than synthetic. I'm gonna try this on. Let me know if you think I should keep it or if I should cut it up. Next up we have something. I was so excited when I saw this. I added it to my cart right away. I didn't even look at the price because I knew I was gonna get it. If you watch my videos, you know that I love this kind of stretch wool felt material. This green color just had me so excited. I'm gonna use this to make patches. It's the perfect color. $12. I did find it at the Village Discount. 
The brand is Talbot's and it's a size small. What I'm gonna do is throw this in the washer on hot and shrink it up and then I will cut it apart and get a lot of really pretty usable green wool felt. I love working with wool and felt and it just makes me feel so much better when I find it secondhand. Okay, I can't believe we're on the last thing already. If you know me, you know I love roses and I found this really pretty kind of baby doll cut long sleeve dress. I tried it on and it just fit me perfect and looks so cute. I knew I had to get it. I got this at Goodwill. It was $5.59. The brand is LA Hearts and it is a size medium. This was so pretty and I think it looks more expensive than probably what it was. I absolutely love long sleeve dresses. Anytime I find a good long sleeve dress, I always snag it up right away. All right, that is gonna do it for this thrift haul. I had so much fun shopping with my friend. It was so fun to go out and just have some girl time and thrift shop together. I'm so excited about everything I found and I have a lot of projects now to keep me busy, which is good. Let me know in the comments, what was your favorite thing I found? I would love to hear from you. Please like this video if you wanna see more thrift hauls. I'd love if you'd subscribe to my channel and until next time, I'll see you later. Happy thrifting. Bye.